Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back at Raven's Car, uh, a place that regular viewers of the channel know I absolutely love. Uh, and if you haven't watched the channel or much of the channel, there's a bunch of new subscribers, so thank you very much. You'll come to see how much I love this place. And why do I love this place? It's because it's full of potentially rare fossils. Uh, and we get these rare fossils here because there's a little bit of the upper lias outcropping here that we don't get anywhere else in Yorkshire. And so we get some unusual ammonite species to things like Gromoceros, Horgias, Phimotoceros, really rare things that you don't get anywhere else in Yorkshire. Uh, and so we come down here hoping to find some of those. And if you're incredibly lucky, you might get some other things like marine reptile bone or those other fossils you find along the rest of the coast. I was lucky when I was down here last time, didn't get a long video, but got a few shorts, including a nice little ichthyosaur block, which I'll put up now. I just saw this and went, ooh, that looks an awful lot like a rib. And uh, turned it over. Ooh, some more things that look very much like ribs. Ooh, bone sticking out that side and a vertebra sticking out there. So I think I've got a row of vertebra with some ribs on each side. And that is awesome. I'm super happy with that. Super, super happy. So welcome and I hope you enjoy. Just getting down onto the, the beach. Obviously the weather is just beautiful today. Uh, we've had some big tides, but uh, not so much to the waves. It's, uh, we'll just have to see what that's done for us and the fossils. But as you might also see, uh, the rocks in the foreshore are slowly turning green, which means everything's going to be a little slippery today. So we'll just take it a bit easy. The classic reminder as I get onto the actual main fossil hunting bit, anything in the bedrock, uh, all of these fossils that you might see, they're all protected. Uh, the site is a triple SI, so a site of special scientific importance. Please no digging in the bedrock anywhere at Raven's Car. Things that are loose are generally fair game. Things that are in the bedrock or in the cliffs are not. So please don't dig in the cliffs. They're crumbly still, uh, it's super dangerous. And don't dig in the bedrock because it's protected. Uh, just tap this one open. It's surprisingly well split actually for uh, the ammonites from here. The Dactyloceros species tend to not open particularly well. Uh, and this one, even though it's not super well preserved down here, this is all crushed, uh, which is why it's a bit flaky. Uh, the middle looks okay, and there's still some inner whorls showing there, so might take that one back just to give it a bit of a practice prep. You can see from the top how uh, distorted this one was as it fossilized. Just splitting down some nodules, a nice little hilby to start the day. It's a bit crushed on the outer world, but uh, I quite like it. Well, that one is very interesting. Uh, so that's bone, 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 bone. Interesting circular things, which uh, always give me hope that it might be something very exciting. Uh, so yeah, an interesting little bone block again. Uh, having some good luck for them down here at the minute. Another classic, just a tiny bit showing. So gave it a tap. And a beautiful little hillbosserus. Sometimes uh, in these big sandstony blocks, uh, as you walk between the first and second bay, uh, you should have a look at them because you get these big old deposits of layers of shells and belemnites uh, that look absolutely incredible. I suspect they're just uh, river deposits, but they might be sort of uh, wave deposits on the near shore. Uh, but also worth keeping an eye out because every once in a while you do see some ammonites in them and if you find the ammonites in this stuff they are rare uh, but also probably not well preserved but don't know unless you find them uh, these are always fun this is a big chunk of phylloceros and you've got the suture patterns these leafy lines running through it uh, unfortunately not a very good complete one uh, but always just very pretty to look at pick this up going i wonder what that keel is from. Turns out, not a keel, just part of a bivalve. Uh, tap this one open, thinking, a yeah, bit interesting keel again. Uh, but if you look closely up here, you can actually see a series of nice spines running around the top. There's a few little ones just visible there. So it's a Paranoceros species. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Uh, relatively deep bodied though, so uh, an interesting one. That'll go in the bag. And that is a gorgeous Gromoceros that uh, only other collectors have found down here. The colours on it are nice. Bit of pyrite, little shell right in the middle for good luck. Yeah, it's pretty. 
and that should prep off. Ooh, yeah, the little bivalve that's on top to expose the rest. Nice. Just a few more bits I've tapped open. I thought this might be a little hill deep, but it turned out it's uh, parts of Phyllocerus, so you can just see the shell there. This one, which I had hopes for being a Catacelocerus, uh, and it is a Catacelocerus, you can see it's quite a fat thing. It's a bit flattened though, so it's collapsed. Uh, I don't know if the other side will be any better. I don't know if the middle will be there, but uh, I'll probably take that one home, prep as is. A uh, nice little pseudo uh not complete. I uh, didn't really think much of it when I picked it up and turned it over. It's another little Catacelocerus. Uh, I quite like them, even though it looks like it might be a bit worn and uh, beat up. I will take that home and uh, see if it preps okay. It's a bit of a sad Grimoceros that. Uh, someone's tapped it and it's exploded off this edge here. I think it was already a bit compressed here, but uh, still sad to see. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day out in the coast there. Absolutely beautiful. Just a little tiny hildy here. Uh, always a game of do you tap them now on the beach uh, or do you take them home to prep. Uh, that one I think will be fairly easy to take home. It probably would split fairly nicely to put a chisel on the edge. Um, another one as well, little double dac, there's one there and another one there. Might be a bit of a pain to prep but they don't, uh, they don't split nicely from Raven's car so no point trying to do that here. So I'll take that and try and give that a prep later. You occasionally get some pretty nice lumps of wood too. Uh, this is one of them, but don't think I need to take it. Just fun to show off. Little tiny thing here. It's a little tiny Paranoceros. You can see the little spines as you go around. Uh, another little Paranoceros. Uh, it needs the middle just taking out of it, uh, but that looks like it could be quite good. I don't know why the Paranoceros tend to split better than the Dax here, but uh, yeah, they do. Just a classic reminder, there's loads and loads of goodies in the bedrock, but I have not hit a single thing out of the shell block or out of the bedrock at all. Here you don't need to. All of the stuff can be found loose, so just don't need to. Admire it and let someone else come along and admire it with you. Another cute little middle of a, a Paranoceros species. I hadn't had much luck with the grammars today, although this block's come out okay. Uh, so there's one there, big one there that wraps around. That looks okay. There's obviously some smaller ones there, and another part of the same block has one there, one there, and bits of one there, bit there, cat's paw there, which suggests there might be more going through. So we can take that and prep that at home. The tide's still quite a long way out, so taking advantage of it and uh, scrambling some of the areas that I don't normally get a chance to. Uh, and it's not doing too bad for us. Uh, little hildy, very beach worn and a bit squished, but should all be there. And this big fat Paranoceros species, which has got at least a few nice nodes there and looks like the middle should be there as well. So that's always good. Uh, I haven't hit any out of the uh, shale block yet, but this will be the first one I'll have a go at. So a big shale block, it's loose. Uh, there's a Hildy keel sticking out there and another one there. And I like Hildy's enough that I'm going to give this a go. I can't guarantee. In fact, I expect they're not going to be all there, but got to give it a go. After an awful lot of work, both of them are out. And we have one at the top there, the other one from down there. There's actually a third edge just there as well. It's obviously a layer of hildies in this block. And uh, the bottom one, it's actually come out okay. It's got a crack through it, yeah, I get it. Um, but that can be glued back together. But in fact, it has a center, it appears to at least, uh, all the way down. It's not completely crushed. Uh, had a bit of a blowout on this side, obviously, as it's being preserved. Uh, the other one, that was more what I was expecting them to look like, uh, with no middle at all. Uh, so that one is actually quite a good result. 
Uh, so that's going to wrap us up here at Raven's Car. It's been another pretty good day. Uh, the weather has been stunning. Uh, a nice diversity of finds, which is what you always come to Raven's Car for. Not just the Dax, the Paranoceros, the Hildes, uh, but some other things like the Cassiosaurus, a nice little bone block, that big Hilde at the end. Uh, looks like it could be a great one when it's put back together. Uh, it's the joy of it coming out of the shale block. Um, I won't be out to the coast for a little bit, hopefully not too long, but I'm actually going to go out hunting fairly shortly to somewhere inland. I'm going to go have a look for some Carboniferous plant fossils uh, just to mix things up a little bit. Uh, it's the joys of living inland and away from the coast. I don't have quite the same flexibility for coming to the coast as for a short trip. So knowing some other sites inland for when the tides aren't as good uh, is going to be a useful thing, I think. Uh, so let us know uh, what you think and I'll catch you all soon.